Hello. So what is a debenture? Well, a debenture, simply put, is a security document. Recall that the Companies and Allied Matters Act, CAMA, authorizes or permits companies to borrow monies and mortgage their properties or those of third parties in order to secure those borrowed monies for the purpose of advancing their businesses. Now, when corporate entities take these loans from other entities or persons, they issue debentures. Those persons who they introduce debentures to are now called debenture holders. A debenture would naturally indicate that, well, now I owe you money and I'm going to pay as so and so time, as so and so interests, and uh, you're going to have the right to do one or two other things if I don't pay. And that is what majorly would determine the type of debenture. Is the debenture securing fixed assets, floating assets? So fixed assets, for example, I say, if I don't pay this money, go and take down my Honda CRV. Of course, would have valued it, right, to make sure that you can recover your loan from it. That's, that would be a fixed charge because we can identify what is um, going to be given up if I'm unable to pay. On another account, I may say, if I don't pay you, come and check my belongings. Take the one that um, is sufficient to help you recover the loan. You now say that is a floating charge. All right. And I may even say, on that floating charge, I may say, okay, I have a gold pillow, I have a wristwatch, I have a good pair of shoes, I have a Honda vehicle, I have so and so. You can take from any of them. You see. Now, for the floating charge, the thing is, since there are several, I may still deal with those items like I like. But for the fixed, I will not be able to deal with that item as I want. A debenture may also express itself to be convertible. I'll say, okay, as a company now, if I don't pay, come and take shares in my company. Then I'll say, those shares at that time will be valued as so and so and so time. You know, all of those things now be determined in that debenture. A, com a, a debenture may even express itself not to be redeemable. As, let's just be owing ourselves and be going. Let me be getting my benefit and be going. Okay? Now, after companies going to debentures, it is very, very important that they register those debentures in two entities. First entity, the Corporate Affairs Commission. This is to protect the interest of the person giving the money, the lender. Why? Remember that if you don't register this uh, debenture, nothing may even happen, no. But you're going to create an impression on the records of that entity at the Corporate Affairs Commission that there is an existing charge on the assets of the company. So any other person who wants to borrow their money can now come and check. I hope they're not owing people up and down, no. You now check and say, that, oh, okay, they're owing like 210 million naira already. If I give them this additional money, what will happen? You know? Of course, if you don't register, there are still some equitable remedies for you. Then, after the Corporate Affairs Commission, when you register with the CAC, they will give you a certificate. Then, after the Corporate Affairs Commission, you are also required to um, register it or have it stamped at the stamp duties office. Well, the thing with stamp duties is that even if you don't get it stamped, nothing will happen. But what Stamp Duties Act requires is that if you don't stamp it, the government is telling you that if you don't stamp it, don't come and call me to bear witness to anything. Okay? So, together with other documents that the law requires for stamping, if you don't stamp your debenture, it's okay. It's a valid document between you and your um, the other party. But if, for example, there is any default and the person, the lender, decides to sue you, you know that you cannot present an unstamped document as evidence. And now, if you don't have that evidence, you know that it's already going to affect your case. Now, what should one look out for in a debenture itself? Well, in a debenture, I know that series of things are very relevant. You must state the amount being borrowed. You, you, um, you must also state if you're going to upstamp it. Upstamping means that maybe you have taken a loan before and then 
you want to add take another loan right to improve on what you have taken before the lord says go and do up stamping so it has the same uh, stamp duties office or going back there say oh, well i took a uh, 210 million before now i want to take another say 70 million to make it 280 million so i'm still going to pay some more money to stamp this i'm still going to pay some more money to the corporate affairs commission to register this so it should indicate if it's going to be an up stamping it should also indicate very carefully the things that would you can leverage if the debenture or the other party fails on their own uh, promise promise to pay for example if you're going to if you're doing a convertible debenture that's to the one that you can convert to shares or stock in that company you must be careful to review the articles of that company what if the articles are such that the company does not have the capacity to issue stock or issue shares or in the case where you have um preemptive rights of shareholders etc etc and then very importantly if you're doing serious business you should make sure that you include a, a negative pledge a negative pledge can actually be a very robust provision but the general purport of it is that you're telling the person you're giving money to that hey you cannot go and get money from somebody else without telling me without my approval because I need to be sure that my own money is going to come back first before you talk about getting more money from someone else. So, these things do happen more in the corporate industry. I'm sure for those who operate in that area, they most likely have an idea about this, you know, one way or the other. But then, at the School of Law will always try to give you some additional information, even when you don't pay for it, just because you have free data. It's been a School of Law. Thank you.